Can you throw me out? No. <laughs> Are we going that way? Bills, bills, bills. We had our gas shut off at once. We don't talk to his parents anymore, or I don't. Why are you interfering here? If we can't get our act together, then we're gonna lose the house. I could live on a beach in a hut. You sound like a 12 year old. It's do or die. I'm an occasional teacher with um, several school boards. I'm an avionics technician and installer. I don't know how much money I make. If I get into that sequence of thinking about my debts and my bills, I'll go insane. I owe student loans, back taxes, credit cards. I've overdrawn my account just so we can go out at times and just kind of forget about our problems. Almost $1,000. For what? Just interest. And I haven't even used this card because they suspended it. I don't really like working. I've gotten really lazy. I've come to depend on Tom. The phone rings sometimes off the hook, uh, bill collectors. I, I don't even answer. Or Tom will pick it up and he'll just like pretend he speaks another language. <laughs> uh, no, no one here, here, no one here like that. We got used to, you know, uh, mommy and daddy providing everything. Washing machine broke while well, his mom bought us a washing machine. They arranged a lot of things for us. You know, my car, for example, this house for us. I've had it too easy now. Now I know how to, you know, maybe play people. What I want Gail to help us with is just give us a solid plan of action, something that we can build on. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now I'm making house calls. Tom and Lisa have partied their way to $300,000 in debt. Lisa can't be bothered to work. They're dodging creditors and Tom's parents keep bailing them out. I'm here to give them a wake-up call. Gail Vaz Oxley. Tom. Nice to meet you. Lisa. Nice to meet you, Lisa. Nice to meet you. A walk through the house usually gives me some idea of where the money's going, but there's nothing much to see here. What's in the tins? <laughs> Multiple unopened bills, open bills on paid, no doubt, and more bills, and more bills. So now we know what their filing system's like. Master bedroom. You know, for a couple that has this much consumer debt, they don't have a lot of fancy stuff in their house. Makes me wonder where the money went. You know, I looked at some tapes, your tapes, and I've been through your finances. And so here's what I see, okay? You even use the words irresponsible and lazy to describe yourselves. Your parents, are interceding on your behalf as if you were idiot children. Exactly. Tom's mother seems to think all the problems lie with you. And my dad says the same thing. It's him, it's him. Yeah. Okay, but you know, I, I still manage to pay some bills so that we don't get totally, you know, kicked out of here because we, you know, couldn't pay the mortgage or I used or to pay the bills. The, the I used power. to. So what happened? I don't know, because you just let me not work. Well, so I cook and I clean and I- He let you not work. He let you not work. I'd rather just not You argue. sound like a 12-year-old. Well, mommy didn't make me do my homework. <laughs> Look at me. Give me your hand. I'm actually happy to see you crying. It makes me think you're taking this seriously. Ultimately, right now, all you two have are each other. So where have they gone wrong? They're both skilled and they have great family support. It's their irresponsibility that has them headed for disaster. You owe an extraordinary amount of money for people your age. Is that a student loan? Yeah, that could be a student loan. That's in collections? Yeah. Yeah, they'll garnish you. Will they? Yeah. Taxes. Who owes taxes? That's us, us. collectively. <laughs> Dad, do you just think these people are just going to go away? You can't just not pay the government. But if you send them post-dated checks, even for a small amount, they'll give you more time. You owe property taxes. They will take away your house. You have about $75,000 in consumer debt. 
credit cards, loans, car loans, and so on. You owe $60,000 to your parents. You owe another $168,000 on your mortgage. You add it all up, it comes to $300,000. And in five years, half a million dollars in debt. You will lose the house and you probably won't want to see each other again. Between you, you're spending almost $1,500 a month in cash. So this is the money that we're partying away. Today, the parties end. We're gonna have a free part plan moving forward. You are gonna take financial responsibility. Every man jack in this house is gonna pull her weight, yes, right? Yes, And you are going to work towards repaying this debt. You both have to promise me that you're gonna do what I need you to do to get you out of this mess. I promise you right now. Spit it out. Uh, I will. No, I, I want to hear the whole sentence. I promise to do what you say. You promise. I promise. I will be giving you a series of challenges. You do what I need you to do, I'll give you up to $5,000 to pay down your debt. You don't do what I ask you to do, I take money away. So the very next thing you can do is go get me all those credit cards and debit cards. Bye bye I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> Wait till you see what I do next. Not there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Up until now, it's been one big party for Tom and Lisa. They owe $135,000 outside of their mortgage, and they're blowing $1,500 a month in cash. Tom's parents keep coming to the rescue, but even they must be getting fed up. It's my parents. No, don't come here. Don't bother us. No, I don't want to see you here. I've helped other couples like this change their stripes. Now with the credit cards in the garbage, it's time to play by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. If we're gonna get this debt paid off, we have to ratchet up those debt repayments significantly to $1,850 a month. That means we have to cut your spending elsewhere. You have two parts to your budget. You have your fixed costs and your variable costs. And we're gonna cut your variable expenses by 50%, take them from $2,200 a month to $1,100 a month. Welcome to the jars. That $1,100 a month translates into $37.50 for entertainment. $50 for transportation, $25 for clothing and gifts. Your cats and your dogs and various and sundry have $35 for that. And you have $125 for food. If you spend it in a restaurant, it won't last very long. Because you are going to be living on cash, you have to write it down. So I have for you your budget binder. Go to the supermarket, you spend $37.25 on groceries, you come home, you put the receipt in the jar, you write down groceries, $37.25. This is how you keep track of what you're spending it on. So kids, I found this when I was looking around. Unpaid bills. This week's challenge is a life lesson challenge. You guys are gonna get real. You. Tom are going to be in charge of making sure that this is all organized. And I will be giving you an office in a box mm -hmm. and instructions so that you know what to do when a bill comes in. You're really opening that? You take care of the problems. You! That's painful. Now for you, my Lisa. Uh-oh. You have a first-class education. And you have the ability to make $200 a day and you're virtually wasting it. So your challenge is to go out and do a job that doesn't require an education and see what it's like to work really hard for a lot less money. <laughs> you're in trouble. 
All right. So, credit card accounts, loans accounts, mortgage accounts. It's all here, including a folder called Gail's Good Stuff with all the helpful hints. Sure. I realized when I was doing this how easy it is to do. Uh, it's all allocated in the proper folders, and you know, there's no bills in my sock drawer. Well, it's very interesting to see the debt, but if I want a financial advisor, my brother has millions, and therefore I'll go to his financial advisor to get myself out of debt. This yeah, is just Gail's to make $5,000 in one month. Lisa thinks she's doing this just for the money, but she's about to learn an important lesson. These are all just plates and yep. pots and pans. Just rinse them off, put them in there, put the machine, press the button, ready to go. Okay. I don't even know how to work that machine. Show me what you got. <laughs> it's all here. There's so tell here. me about the magic box. The magic box has really helped me realize how easy this is. You don't understand why you keep yeah. running out of money. And so what this is doing is it's keeping a real time account right. of how much money you actually have. Okay. It's black and white. Yeah. And as long as you do it and you're rigorous about it, right. you can't go wrong. Right. Which brings us to you, Lisa. Yes. I hear you went out last night and worked really hard. I did? Yeah? So how much did you make an hour? Um, I believe it was $8. And did you rather earn $8 an hour or would you rather worth $35 an hour? Yeah, um, $35 an hour. So the things that some people hard. have to do to make a living yeah. are very, very difficult. And they don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. You have other options. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be wasting them. That's mm -hmm. right. Most teachers work 200 days a year. Last year, Lisa taught 70 days. Well, that's enough laziness. It's time to get to work. This is going to be your budget booster challenge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now the reason this is important is because you're going to be using it. Okay. Your challenge this week will be to pick up your 50% of the household responsibilities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I like it. Because while you're picking up your 50% in the house, Lisa's going to be picking up her 50% of the budget. Oh. You need to be bringing in about $4,000 a month to be making your fair share contribution to the household. You're going to go to work every single day. Coming up, it's one step forward and two steps back. I worry that you're not really getting what this is about. Tom and Lisa squander $300 a week on partying. That's about $16,000 a year that could be used to pay the creditors who are calling. He needs to answer that. It's not my issue. This week, I challenged Lisa to get off the couch and teach every single day, while Tom picks up his share of the housework. And I believe you just go like this. So far, they've earned $1,000 for their first challenge, but the big tests are still to come. First time for everything. Did you use bleach? Can you, can you pass me something? <laughs> I've been bugging him, he hasn't really been He's been slacking. But all I asked her was if she could empty the dishwasher while I was painting. I'm like, nope, you're going to do it yourself. And he wasn't too happy, but. Because that's your job this week. The work schedule is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I heard something over five days. What, grade three? Yeah. I, I can't do grade three. No? No. Uh, I don't even know. Should, should I even? I'm not even going to bother. Look at all these whites. This is like load number six. He did the laundry, but he left a big pile of it on top of the dryer. I'm like, can you fold the laundry? I would give him a six <laughs> out of 10. Did you do a lot of teaching this week? Yes, I did. And you have sheets to show me later? I have, yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. 
And how did you do with the housekeeping? Overburdened and overworked. Oh, poor thing. I'm serious. My I heart had... just goes out to you. Well, I had to do everything. Listen, <laughs> Lisa? Oh, no. I just don't think he's up to scratch. <laughs> I told you. <There. laughs> Lisa could only show evidence of two days of work, claiming it was hard to find substitute teaching jobs on a holiday shortened week, which has me suspicious of how committed she really is. I worry mm -hmm. that you're not really getting what this is about. Okay. If tomorrow Tom came to you and said, you know what, Lisa, I'm sick of it. Mm -hmm. You're not pulling your weight. Mm -hmm. I want you out. Mm -hmm. What would you do? You don't even have enough money in the bank to go and rent a hotel room for a night. But my brother <laughs> has a lot of money, and he already told me one time that he would buy me a house and come live. Yeah, but Lisa, that's not the point. I'm just saying, like, that's what they tell me. Well, what would happen if you were to repeat the same thing? I don't know. And then you're still not going to work every day. I don't know. Can you throw me out? No. <laughs> Are we going that way? No, we're not well, going then. that way, but we just, we need to be committed to each I'm other. I'm not talking about what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I am saying that for your personal security, mm -hmm. you cannot be dependent on people. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the only way these two can move forward as a couple is to stand together. That's at the heart of their next challenge, to face their parents and take equal responsibility for the mess. Over the next week, you have to make two dates to do two very important things together. Okay. First of all, both of you together have to go to Tom's parents. I know, but this is part of being a grown-up and committing to the relationship. So you both have to go to Tom's parents and you have to fess up. You have to be there because you're perceived to be part of this huge problem. And if you are not seen together to be doing this as a couple, then all you are is a lazy cow living off their son. So I'm, I'm talking about perception. I'm not talking about reality. I'm talking about perception, okay? Really? I'm lazy bull. <laughs> the second thing you have to do is you have to communicate with your parents and tell your mom, and he has to be in on the communication. And I want the truth. Okay, you will be measured on the truth. Okay. We're gonna get some verbal abuse. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Tom and Lisa have been parting away nearly $16,000 a year while ignoring creditors. I challenge them to call their parents and come clean as a couple with the details of their debt. If they can't get their act together, I'm not going to reward them with $5,000. You will be measured on the truth. So here I am to check and see generally how we did over the whole month. Okay. Okay. So let's start with whether you called your dad and your mom yes, and did. came clean. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, when I phoned my dad, he, he said, yes, I know your dad's. And your mom and dad? My dad got sent on a business trip. He got back last night, okay. and I couldn't speak with him, but I've spoken with my mom. Okay. You know I had a conversation with your mom last night. I had a conversation with your dad. When I asked your mom specifically if you had told her about what your debts were, she said no. You had not given her the details. And when I spoke to your dad, I asked him specifically, are you aware of Lisa's credit card debt? I don't know what it is, he said, specifically. Are you aware of the loans she has outstanding? Not specifically. That's odd. Yeah. If you'd like to contact my father. Sweetie, I did contact your father. I, I spoke to him last night. He doesn't know how much you own your credit cards. Well, he does. He doesn't know. I have the tape, Lisa. OK. And That's he does your taxes and tells you to get off your ass and get to work. Mm -hmm. So we have some conflicting information. Yeah. Um, let's move on from okay. there, though, OK? Yeah. We had in your budget. $1,850 this month for debt repayment. Yeah. Can you show me what you use that $1,850 to repay this month? I didn't have a full check from the previous month. I was already in the hole. My account was overdrawn. Okay. So as soon as my money went in there, I was the, the only debt I was able to pay back was my mother. Okay. And because how much did you give her back? I gave her $100. I really hoped these two would succeed. And after their first challenge, I thought they had turned it around. They organized their bills and Lisa worked in the restaurant. That's all I saw them accomplish. Well, you understand that based on what we've seen here, we've made virtually no progress. Where is all the money going? I just don't know what to do with you. I want to take your heads and I want to bang them together. When I got here a month ago, I said that you would end up $500,000 in debt 
In all likelihood, you would lose the house, and I doubted your relationship could stand the strain. I had hoped to impress upon you how important it was that we make changes to your lifestyle and in coming clean with your parents. I don't see that that has happened. And so I have for you a check for $1,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very small. We all know people like Lisa and Tom. Sometimes it takes a major shock to the system to wake them up. But these two can still make it. I've given them a debt repayment plan and a balanced budget. And if they commit, they can turn it around. I do wish you luck in the future. Mm -hmm. You both have the ability to earn a good income. You're well trained and capable. Mm -hmm. Any strike you have against you or any barrier you have, you have put there yourself. So now it is up to you to decide whether to remove those barriers and get on with your life or to keep going on the path you're going on. All right, everyone out. <laughs> yeah, that's it.